Hey guys, it's Kristen here. Um, today I'm actually going to do a tutorial for you on what to bring on a night out. So for girls it's a little bit harder. They don't really know how to fit stuff in. Um, I know I get a lot of questions, people asking me like what kind of makeup that I bring to like touch up in when I go out. Um, for guys it's a little bit easier. Guys just have a wallet, they bring their credit cards, their cash, anything that's basically like in their wallet they already have. For girls there's a little bit more work put involved, so basically like makeup, stuff like that, um, gum, cards, all this kind of stuff like that. So, I'm just going to go over some stuff that I bring when I go out, so maybe you can take some tips too, and then you'll be set. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab something like this. So, something like this size, or something this size. Um, basically, anything that's like a wristlet's really good, because then you have it around you at all times, or something like a clutch. You want something that also has a lot of space inside. Um, you're definitely going to want something that has like card holders if it has it. I know some clutches do that nowadays and same with bracelets, so something like that. So you can stick cards in really easily. So the first thing that you're automatically going to want to do without a given is you're going to want to bring your ID. So a lot of the times when I go with my friends, um, some bouncers ask for two pieces. So make sure like you have your driver's license, health card, um, social insurance number card, anything like that. Sometimes even people I know bring passports if it's that serious and it's that strict of a club, like just make sure you have that. If worst case scenario, a lot of people will just ask to see your Instagram or some social media like that. So that's your second resort. But definitely your ID, like that's your number one because if you don't have your ID, then you're not going anywhere. Second, your cards. <laughs> so I know a lot of people depend on cash, but definitely bring your cards. So I always bring a debit card and a Visa card. Basically anything that has actual money in your bank accounts, so then you know for sure that you're set for the night and that you can actually use that. <laughs> um, the third thing I actually put right after I take my ID and my credit cards is cash, just in case. It's always good to have cash on you. Um, even loose change during the winter seasons, a lot of people do coat check. So coat check is around $3, $2, you're going to want to bring spare change. Um, if you guys end up driving, you want to pay for parking, um, you need spare change for that as well. So the third thing that's probably most important here is a little perfume roller ball. So what's good about these guys here is that they're so small and portable and it's like perfume. So you don't have to bring the whole actual bottle with you. You can just bring a little roller ball and you're set to go. And it's so small and like it doesn't take up any room. So basically you just pop that in there and there you go. So easy. But that's my fourth, my fourth thing. Um, so going on, so to the makeup part, so basically what I really try to bring every time I go out and what I hopefully I don't forget is a contour stick. So basically for all the girls out there that understand makeup, a contour stick, um, one side is like to contour, one side is to highlight, basically good to bring to the club because in case you want to do a touch up, you already have that done. You can just touch it up really quick in the bathroom or whatever. This is an essential. I try to bring this every time I go out. Um, it's very small, it's not that big, so you can definitely fit it in a clutch, a little wallet, a little purse. It doesn't take up much room. This one here is actually the Arbonne one, so it's all natural, um, really good stuff. It's a sheer little highlight stick. It's the color pearl, so it's really, really good. Definitely recommend that one too if like girls are trying to find um, a good contour stick that's really small and portable. That one's really nice. Um, the second most thing when it comes to makeup is I would definitely bring your lip gloss. Lip gloss is a number one thing because in makeup, you're always touching up your lips, stuff like that at the clubs or if you're drinking. Um, you definitely want to do this because lip gloss is a necessity. <laughs> so for the third thing that you want to do is you definitely want to bring concealer. Concealer is always good because it keeps you fresh and your skin not looking oily all the time. Um, a lot of times sweat and oil can build up with the makeup, so you're going to want to do something to kind of cover it up and blend it all in. So concealer is really good for that. Um, the concealer I bring is the Lancome one. Basically, it's waterproof too. So if you get like wet, dirty, something in the rain, it'll save all that. And it'll also save you a lot of time fixing yourself in the bathroom, stuff like that. Things can get messy. I really don't know. But I'm just saying those things are definitely important. So the three main things I bring for makeup is my contour stick, my lip gloss, and my concealer. And they're really, really small too. So they're very good to put in a bag. If you want to just bring one, and you just want to like narrow it down, I would say probably bring the concealer because that's definitely going to save you a lot. But honestly, like if you have room like that, 
Like so far, it doesn't take up that much. So moving on, the last most important thing you're gonna wanna bring is your cell phone. Definitely bring your cell phone anywhere you go. Um, a lot of the times when I go with my friends, I'll turn my locations on. So on Snapchat and stuff like that, my friends can see where I am. They can always call me, text me, see what I'm doing, see what I'm doing. Uh, make sure that they know that I'm like in the same club as them or the same restaurant or something. Definitely don't leave home without it, and definitely bring it when it's charged. Do not bring your phone out if it's at like forty percent, and you know you're not going to be home to charge it. So yeah, those are definitely important things to have with you. Um, another important thing that sometimes I'll throw in my clutch is basically like anything I can chew on or something that I can eat throughout the night. Sometimes like a lot of people bring love gum that I know, so you can bring gum. I try to bring chocolates. Um, my two favorite chocolates are actually bachi, so I bring the bachi chocolates if I can into the club if they let me. Um, sometimes it's good to have two because when you get hungry later and you don't want to go to McDonald's at four in the morning and eat something there, you can just munch on these little guys and you're set to go. So basically, I'm just going to show you guys what everything would look like in my little wallet with everything put in. So like I said too, this guy here has card slots. So I'm going to show you what it would look like with everything put inside. So first I'm putting in my ID because those are the most important things you're going to want to put in first. Try to put them together so that you know if you have to take a driver's license out and need a second piece, you have a health card right behind it or something else. Um, Second thing, most important thing, your cards, your credit card, debit card, um, anything like that, Visa card, any kind of something you have money in. Um, next thing, money. So this is anything regarding, so bills, change, anything that you have that's tangible, anything that you can give to a bouncer, anything that you can give to pay coat check, anything like that. So now I'm going to take my fourth important thing, which is my perfume rollerball and this one also is the Victoria's Secret one the tease perfume so really really good if you're looking for one of those and then the three musketeers over here my contour stick my lip gloss and my concealer so those little guys just all fit inside there and then like I said phone can never forget your phone so just put that in there and then, like I said, guys, like these guys are really optional, the two chocolates. Um, it's up to you if you want to bring or not. If you don't have room, totally okay. Gum's good, too. I just bring chocolates because I'm just extra like that. But, yeah, you guys can bring those. And then there you go. And there's everything fit inside there. And the beauty of this is that because everything is so small but still useful, it easily zips up. And you're set to go. And it doesn't even look that full either. Like, you're... You have pretty much some more space if you want to put any more other things in than just throw them in. But yeah. But yeah. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a good one.